What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're looking at how to find 10 and 100 more or less than any given number. Let's go. Okay, so the thing we're going to remember today is that we're going to create a place value chart to help us. Let's see what that looks like. With our first example, which is this number here, number 56. So we're working with the number 56. Our tip said to use a place value chart. So when I'm making a place value chart, I'm going to have my 1s above my 6 and my 10s above my 5. Sometimes you might have heard of this 1s being called units. That's fine as well. They mean the same thing, 1s or units. Okay, so now I can look at my number and analyze it a little bit and see that I have 6 1s and 5 10s. And if I want to try and find out what 10 more would do to this number, so let's do 10 more. All I have to do is look in the tens column. And at the moment, I have five in the tens column. If I want to go 10 more, I'm going to be adding one 10 to this column, because this is my tens column. At the moment, there's a five, so if I want to go one more, I would go to six. That's adding 10 to my number, 110 to my number. I've done nothing to my units or my ones, so therefore I can bring this other six down, and my answer to 10 more than 56 is 66. Let's do not 10 more, but let's do 10 less, and let's see what happens. So again, which one do we need to look at? Well, we're gonna be looking at our tens. And at the moment, I have a 5 in the tens, so I have 5 tens. If I want to have 10 less, or a 10 less, I'm going to get rid of one of these tens and put it down to a 4. So now that I have this 4, I can then look back into the 1s column and see that I have a 6. Bring that down because we're not changing anything in our 1s column. And my final answer is 46. So 10 less than 56 is 46. Okay, let's have a look at a bigger number. Let's have a look at example two, 145. So I have 145, and now let's remember our tip again, which was to create a place value chart to help us, which means I'm gonna put my ones or units, tens, and now hundreds over the top. Now I'm gonna look for what 10 more would look like. Well, which column am I going to focus on with 10 more? I'm going to be looking in my tens column. And at the moment, I have a 4. And if I'm going to be adding a 10 to my tens column, that's going to turn into a 5. I didn't do anything to my ones column, so I can bring that down. That's another 5. And I didn't do anything to my hundreds column, so I can bring that 1 down. And my new answer to 10 more than 145 is 155. Okay, but what about 100 more? Let's have a look what that looks like. Well, now we're looking for 100 more. Which column am I gonna look at? Not my tens column anymore, because that's tens. I'm gonna look at my hundreds column. So now I can see I have a one in my hundreds column, and if I'm adding 100 more, I'm gonna add 1 to my 1, which equals 2. I didn't do anything to my 4 in the tens column, and I didn't do anything to my 5 in the ones column. So my new answer to 100 more than 145 equals 245. Okay, but what about 100 less? Okay, well, let's do the same thing. We know we're looking in our hundreds column, and I can see I have a 1. So this one, don't forget, is a 100. What is 100 less than 100? Or in other words, 100 take away 100. Well, that's zero. So I end up with zero in the hundreds column. I can bring down my four from the tens column and bring down my five from the ones column. So my answer is zero hundreds and 45 or in other words, 45. Okay, let's look at our last example, 439. A huge number. 
and let's have a look what 10 less looks like. So let's remember, always put our place value chart in place. That's going to help us remember how to do it, but also help us remember which column we're going to be working on. And if we're working on 10 less, I'm going to be in my tens column. And at the moment, I have three tens, or in other words, 30. So what is 10 less than 30? Well, it's 20, or two tens. I bring down my four, and I bring down my nine, leaving me an answer of 429. So 10 less than 439 is 429. Let's do 100 more. And I think you're starting to get it now. We're going to look in our hundreds column. And I can see I have a 4, or in other words, 400. So my question is 100 more than 400, or 400 adding to 1, 100. So I'm going to end up with 500. And I bring down my 3, I bring down my 9, and I get a final answer of 539. Simple. Let's look at what to remember. Start by creating your place value chart. This is really important. It will help you understand which column we are adjusting. Line your numbers up into the correct columns and then focus on the column that is the one you're working on. If you're looking at 10 more, you're going to be working in the tens column. If you're looking at 100 less, you're going to be looking in the hundreds column. And in the future, when you're looking at bigger numbers, when you're looking at a million more, you'll look in the millions column. So this is a really good practice to get into the habit of. Here you go. Here are three numbers for you to have a go at. Find 10 and 100 more and less than each of these numbers. Have a go at working these out on some paper. Take your time. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you have it, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with a friend of yours that you think would benefit from it too. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.